Lately, Snapmaker announced the Kickstarter project to produce U1 3D printer. Right now, they have raised 17.5 million with more than 18,000 backers. It's one of the highest Kickstarter projects in 3D printing sector. This video is not a review for the printer. We are going to talk why people they are pre-ordering this printer and who is behind this printer. But before that, let's talk about the printer and how it works. U1, it's a Core XY printer. It means it's fixed bed, it's not sliding. With the four different tool heads. It means that you can put four different filament in different heads and the printer can use filament when it need so it's much faster to sweep. It makes you use less time to print and use less filament. This idea had been existed before and Prusa they did the same with the XL printer. But Prusa did it with the price of 4,300 euros. But this is it so expensive for consumer print. In other side, Snapmaker did it with 800 dollar for the print. I know Prusa printer is much bigger, but still it's so much expensive for a consumer printer. Now we know the idea it have been existed before. But why so many people they are pre-ordering the printer? There is many reasons, but one of the most reason multicolor. To explain for you multicolor effect, we should to come back few years ago before Bumble and Blanche in the first multicolor printer. The consumer 3D printer it was quite boring. There wasn't much options like now. You have Prosa with E3 printer and you have Creality with under 3 printers. Back then to print with the multicolor, after finishing the print you should to paint. Or there is another option that you will pause the print and you change the filament after you will continue print, you should to be in the right place at the right time. Imagine that if you are sleeping, you have to put alarm. Multicolor printing is just important in consumer printing. In other side, like industrial, it's not so important. For example, one time friend bring me car part to 3D printed. I asked him which color you want. And he said it doesn't matter because it's coming inside, so no one going to see it. What I want to say that multicolor printing is much more important for consumer printer. It should too much with design, with interior colors, all things. 3D printing was growing year after year until the day that five engineers with them job from DJI and they found the company Bambula. Bumble up they made a revolution in 3D printing industry because they bring speed and multicolor. About speed, Bumble up they have changed in the printer from Cartesian printer to Core XY printer. Cartesian printer it's more common in old printers like under 3 e 3 where you found sliding bed. Core XY printer it's with the fixed bed. That's why it's much faster because the bed it doesn't need to move while nozzle it's printing. About multicolor bumble up they used AMS. There is multiple different filament so the nozzle it need to empty the previous filament to continue print with the new filament. This method create more waste of filament and add more printing time but there is no better option than that after that we have seen a lot of consumers they are changing from other brands to bamboo lab and that's what we call it multicolor effect but in reality bamboo lab it's not just a multicolor speed out of bed leveling there is a lot of option after that bamboo lab have obligate all other brands to follow the same rule we have seen Creality, Anycubic and other brands they have similar printer as Bump. If you look at Snapmaker they have combined between Prusa and Bumble Labs and other printers and they came up with the U1 printer. They took the good feature from every brand but they made it cheaper. Here we have a question who is behind this successful printer? There is many people behind that success. One of these people he is the founder and the CEO of Snapmaker Daniel Shen. I was searching about him. He's a talented person who shown interest about robotic 3D printing at early age. He dedicated all his free time to spend it in lab to develop that hobby. That means that he's a hobbyist. He loves what he do. After that, he went to university and he graduated as a mechanical engineer. That means he's educated, usually a person who is guided by teachers. 
he get the information faster than someone who is searching by himself. After that, he went to work in three or four different companies as a mechanical engineer. That means that he had chance to work with different experts, different CEOs, different colleagues. So he had opportunity to learn from others. After that, he decided to quit his job and founded the company in the 1st of June 2016. Quitting a job and start building company, it means that he trusts himself and he's a person who is able to take the risk. He chose the 1st of June to found the company because it's International Children's Day. I don't know why exactly, but it can be for personal reason or for emotional connection or even for branding and marketing. Either way, it's smart choice and it means that he's smart. That doesn't mean he did everything by himself. Of course, he's surrounded with a good team. And I think they succeed to produce U1 printer with that price. So how other brands they will react? Of course, I cannot predict the future, but I think if history repeats itself, they will do the same what they did before with Bamboo Labs. That means we will see other brands produce a multi-tool head printer to compete with Snapmaker. This competition can bring prices down and can bring better printer. That's good for consumer and good for 3D printing industry. Now we get to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. See you again.